long day today as I shall be making a drive to Leeds shortly and so I'm starting off with a hearty breakfast the only hot meal I will have all day slightly later than I wanted to be setting off but um, in my car and about to make the drive to Leeds should be there in under two hours so um, yeah let's hope it's a good journey Swift last night. That was cool. Not cool? Don't really care. It's a long way from uh, Wembley Stadium to Leeds. But the crowd here today, you guys look uh, absolutely amazing. I actually said to my daughter today, I said, you've watched Taylor Swift last night. I said, why don't you come up with me on the train? You can sit side of stage and you can watch your dad in front of this lovely audience bathed in light and she turned around to me and said dad i'm not a fan oh, Jesus.
except maybe Richard Dray. Better than Sunshine. We had a good time. Us two, thanks very, very much. Yeah, look, look at this lovely weather. Thank you, God. Sorry, it's not one about 100 games. <laughs> it's 4-2! Wait, no, it's 4-1, but it's about to be Excuse me. Oh. Let's Rock Leeds. It's an 80s festival. It's one I've been to a couple of times now. And um, it's a collection of at least 10 to 15 80s artists who all get to perform their biggest hits and a few um, unexpected surprises sometimes in their sets. Um, so on this year's bill at um, Leeds, we had opening the show, we had um, um, a choir from Northampton called the Sing Out Choir, I believe they were called, who'd recently been on one of the talent shows on TV and they opened the show. Um, what can I say? Who doesn't love a good choir? So, um, no problems with that one. Uh, Toya was the official opening act, 5 to 12, and yep, <laughs> she walks on and announces that. Um, She's officially a pensioner now at 66 years old. Bless her. Wow. She's still the coolest punk female that ever there ever was. And vocally, she still sounds great. And so, love Toya's set. She performed four or five of her biggest hits and a couple of covers. Um, nice Billy Idol Rebel Yell and a Joan Jett I Love Rock and Roll. So, doesn't get more rock and roll than Toya and that was great. So, following Toya was a band called China Crisis from Liverpool and um, they didn't have too many hits in the 80s. Um, they had a couple of standout singles that most people were capable of singing along to. Um, yeah they were a bit they were a bit boring then and they're still a bit boring um, but you know that was their sound and you know, it's pretty obvious why they didn't stick around too long because their sound wasn't exactly en exciting or inspiring. But, um, yeah, um, they were okay, you know. Altered Images were up next. <laughs> the fabulous Claire Grogan hasn't changed a bit. 
hasn't aged a bit unless you zoom in on her a bit close and then you realise she has because she has to. We all have to. Um, yeah, good set from Claire. Um, all the um, singles from Altered Images. She even threw a new one and it was fine. It worked. So yeah, enjoyed Altered Images set. I think that's the second time now I've seen Claire Grogan at one of these 80s concerts. After Claire, we had um, Kim Appleby, I believe. Now, Kim Appleby was one half of Mel and Kim, uh, a successful sister duo in the 80s. Um, sadly, Mel lost her life to breast cancer, and um, Kim didn't, um, didn't carry on a solo career for very long. I think it was just the one album. And um, so she performed the hits of um, Mel and Kim, and the big solo hit that she had on her own. Um, I wasn't a fan at the time of Mel and Kim, I have to say. Their music was repetitive and um, really not my thing. But um, respect to her for continuing the legacy um, of Mel and Kim. And um, yeah, got the crowd going. And of course, somebody else who really did get the crowd going... Um, was Jason Donovan who came on next. Big 80s heartthrob. All the ladies love Jason. Um, <laughs> Jason's performances always leave me slightly puzzled. I can't tell if he actually wants to be on the stage, if he hates every minute of it, if he loves all the attention. You just, you just can't tell. He, uh <laughs> His vocals can be whoo, at times. His movement is very limited. Um, he just gives that impression, I really don't want to be here doing this. Um, and then another time he gives the impression, I really love doing this. It's it's a bit of a bizarre one. But um, as usual, Jason was entertaining. And he sung his biggest solo hits and he kept everything to that same area. Of, <laughs> area to that same era, should I say, of 1988-1989. Following Jason was a band called XTC. Now, a um, band that's not original members. I believe it just has the one original member who was the bass player. Um, I only knew a couple of songs by XTC, although that couple actually turned into four. Um, yeah, they were okay, but they were not exactly crowd pleasers or crowd pullers to be fair um i sat down through their set it was a i don't need to be at the front of stage for these guys um so yes it was a time to wander around and relax a bit rather than be down in the thick of it at the front of the stage but they were closely followed by go west um what can i say i love go west and um have done since 1985. They're one of my favourite bands. I have seen them so many times. We must be into the 20 somethings now with Go West. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to go backstage with Go West in 1987 when they played at the Royal Concert Hall. Uh, me and my friend Ange were invited to go and um, help out just because we were hanging around the stage door hoping to meet the guys when they came in. So we were lucky enough to actually go and work behind the scenes, go and do their shopping and hang out with them in the backstage area, witness the sound checks and just basically get to hang out backstage at the concert hall with Go West. You know, how fabulous was that? It's only 17 years old, you know. Pete and Richard, great guys and um, just love seeing them. They've kept their mu musical integrity all through their career and it's just wonderful. But 40 years on, they are still singing the hits and other people's hits and they throw in a, through, a few surprises. I was not expecting a Duran Duran cover. That was fun. And the Sam Sparrow black and gold cover on an 80s gig when it was something that was in the two zeros, whatever. But um, we let them off with it because it's Go West and... Go S, we'll let Go S off with everything because they're brilliant and we love them. 